In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your resume on Overleaf. Now, of course, there's many ways of doing it. The first one, and probably the most complicated one, would be to just start a new project, enter a blank pa page or blank project, and start from there. However, if you want to make a resume or a CV quickly, efficiently, and also make it look good without too big of an effort, you can just work from a template. And for this, Anywhere inside Overleaf, you want to go to Templates up here, which is one of these tabs. And once you click on it, you don't even have to search for a resume, because down here, second row in the middle, there's already Resume slash CV. And now, if we click on this, it will give you a whole bunch of uh, pretty much different uh, templates to make a resume slash CV inside of Overleaf. Now, of course, you can pick one that suits you best and then just click on it and work from there. Me, for an example for this video, I'm going to take the first one, which, as you can see over here, you get a few that are selected by Overleaf staff, and it says these templates were handpicked by Overleaf staff for the high quality and positive feedback received from the Overleaf community over the years. Therefore, you can assume that these are actually good CVs and they are worth to be used. Now, I'm going to go with this first one over here, but as I said, you can pick any one you want. And as soon as you click it, you have many options over here. One of them is open as template. You want to click on it, and just in a few seconds, this will open up as a template for you inside the resume in Overleaf. Now, as you can see, on the left, we've got this uh, kind of the code editor, okay, where the code is, and then on the right, there's the PDF, the one that you can then download, export, and send to whoever you're sending your resume slash CV to. Of course, this one is for Jack Sparrow, okay, but you can, it's meant to be made for yourself, according to your needs, and according to your, uh, basically, things you want to put in here. Now, of course, in order for you to be able to do this, inside Overleaf, you will need some basic LaTeX knowledge, okay? Um, of course, it's not that hard to learn this, you can find different videos on it, but I would highly recommend to actually work from a, uh, from a template, as I said. Now, one of the things you can do, as you can see, is to edit the main text, of course, and then you can also edit everything over here, different images, as you can see, you can just edit these, and then you have different metals and stuff like that. Now, you of course want to edit all of this according to your needs, and so it suits yourself and your resume or your CV. Um, and one thing I want to say is that the easiest way to actually do it is to switch from code editor up here to visual editor, and then you can just change uh, these things to what suits you, okay? So let's say um, I want to switch this, which says Jack Sparrow, okay? And I want to put it as instant, and then how to, and then let's see, let's say it says YouTuber, okay? And then we're going to click recompile, recompile, whatever, and then as you can see, it will change to what I just changed. Now, it's basically that simple, you just fill in uh, your your information, whatever the information is on this site, and then you click recompile and that's it. Once you're done, you want to download your PDF and you've got yourself a great resume in Overleaf in no time. So, I hope this video helped you out and if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.